Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this is obviously, by the title, a continuation of the Community Site series. Um, I believe we're on part, this is part 60 here. Um, uh, but this is kind of its own series in itself, because um, it's going to be very long and extensive, taking a, a long time to make. But uh, we're going to start working on a PHP forum, um, or a forum using PHP, HTML, uh, CSS and possibly some JavaScript or jQuery. Um, haven't decided yet on that. Um, we're going to be using a database, a MySQL database, um, to hold all of our various information. Um, and obviously various tables within that database. So yeah. Um, so right here I've got this file typed up. It's simply just forum. That's what it's called. Um, essentially it, it's got like all my ideas for a forum. It's got the various categories and things that it's going to have. Um, right, these are just general things. Obviously, probably be changing. Um, the abilities that it'll have. It'll have designated categories and, and topics on various pages. Um, you can create a topic if you're logged in, and you can post to other topics while logged in. Um, moderators will be able to. So it'll be it'll be privilege based where you have users, um, elite posters, um, moderators and admins. So and we'll also make sort of an sort of a CMS system for that as well. Um, that's why the series is gonna be so extensive. Um, and moderators will have various rights and be able to do things and we'll get more in depth on that when it uh, when it comes up. So we have the database set up here. So essentially, it's going to be, I think it's like five database tables. We have a forum table. So, and we're going to, each of our forum tables, all five of them, are going to have in a forum underscore as a prefix. So it'll be forum underscore topic, forum underscore category, whatever the uh, table is. So kind of giving a little bit of organization in the, uh, in the database. So we have a forum table. And it's going to have an ID, an order, a name, and an always show. And um, you can see right here, this is essentially the form set up, the database set up for all the tables. Um, these may or may not be changing. These are just kind of explaining what each one's going to do. We're also going to have a rights and colors. Um, so it's going to have um, the various rights that users will have for user, leak poster, moderator, and admins. And then the color that each will be posted in um, for people's usernames. Um, the various types of, of topics and things that uh, people can view. Uh, so if you're not logged in, which would be guest, um, be able to view certain ones. If you're a user, you can view certain ones, moderators, admins, so on and so forth. Um, the various advanced features are pretty much the, the CMS system itself, so rights editor, and that will be available for only admins. Um, forum, adder, editor, sorter, and things like that. Um, I will go more in depth on all of these things uh, when it arises. And back to the, the colors thing there. Um, <coughs> so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just simply going to, in our basicnick.com htdocs folder, where we have essentially all of basicnick.com. Uh, and you can see the source code and whatnot. Um, so the reason why I said this is kind of a, a series in itself is because this is going to be very long and extensive and uh, pretty cool, I think. Um, and essentially, we're just going to be using the basicnick.com community style tutorials um, as sort of a setup for designing it and whatnot. Um, so yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take one of these files, for example... I'll just take the contact page, copy and paste it, and rename it to forum. Open up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the title to forum index. And for now, I'm just going to get rid of all of the metadata. <coughs> so now I'm going to get rid of all of the content in the left column. So essentially we just have a blank file. Um, for now, 
we're actually going to not just remove the columns, but uh, actually remove that. We're essentially going to have a single column. It's going to be a single column set up where all of our content is going to be within one single column. And for now, we'll call it forum. So a div with an ID of forum. And obviously, later on, we'll create some CSS for this in some way, shape, or form. So our index here is kind of going to be, or our forum.php file, sorry, not the index. It is the forum index. Um, essentially, this is going to show our various forums that we're going to have, which would be like the main generalization. So it would be like general, and within it, it would have categories of announcements, things like that, introduce yourself, whatever. And then we would have another forum of web dev or web development, um, and that would have categories of coding help. And, and things like that. And that's essentially what the setup of right here is. So we have our forum, and then we have the categories within them, forum, categories within them. And like I said, this is going to be entirely database driven. So we can easily change those um, from PHP My Admin. And eventually, once we get the CMS system for it up and running, you'll be able to change your uh, various info from there. Um, so yeah, pretty much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the styles folder and open the CSS file for now. Um, so yeah, so the first thing we're going to do in our form series is we're going to, since this stops being slow, is we're going to connect to our database and, and open PHP my admin on our Okay, so once we've opened PHP My Admin on your web server, um, in this case I'm using my live server, I'm showing information that not necessarily you might want to show, uh, but whatever. So we're going to create our first one, which is going to be whoops, which is going to be forum underscore as our prefix, and it's going to be forums. So this is going to be essentially our main, our main really really general area so we're gonna call them our forums so if we look back at the forum.txt file I have our forum has four database uh, fields so hit in four hit enter and then after this we're just gonna type them in so we have ID which is going to be an int um, you don't need to make it any larger than an int because you won't have that many, um, especially if you're using this on like a live server. Um, you're not going to have like 50, uh, like like a hundred or so different forum areas. Um, you'll maybe have like six or so, so you won't need that to be very large. Um, so it's over here. So what we're also going to need is order, name, and we'll name that one show. So order name and show. Now, <clears throat> because of how PHP queries work, so it would be MySQL underscore query parentheses, and within those parentheses you would have your quotation marks, likely double quotation marks, and then you would have um, your your query code itself. So select all or select asterisks from database table name where whatever so you have your query now because there's uh there's query code that is order and show we can't use these as our database field names so we have to rename them to something else so i'm gonna name this one to always whoops, always underscore show and this one will be display underscore order and that's just because how uh, PHP queries work. So our always show variable, or our, our type is going to be a bool. So it's short for boolean, which means essentially true or false. Uh, that's what boolean is in programming. Our display order is going to be an int because that's going to essentially making it make it so we can rearrange, um, so we can rearrange things. So instead of having it the general forum and then the web development forum, we need to have web development then general, 
or whatever order you want it to be as. Make sure that's set. Okay, so after that, you can hit, hit save. And we have our um, our forums underscore for, uh, forum underscore forums table created. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and insert some that some uh, kind of some dummy data. So the order is going to be one. The name will be general. Always show will be zero. And what always show is essentially it's if you go to a website that has a forum, for example, a PHP BB forum, um, free open source software, um, I guess webware, whatever, um, where usually it's like announcements that are always shown or forum rules that are always shown. Um, and this is, this is so you can do that um, if you want to. But for the most part, for my purposes, I'm going to pretty much have that as always zero. Um, then we're going to have another one with an order of two, name of web development, always show will be zero, and then we're going to hit go. So we now have inserted our two into the database. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so what we're going to do on our forum.php page is we're going to put in our PHP code block and we're going to connect to the database so we're going to say was it scripts slash connect.php I think it is it's been over a week since I've worked on this yeah it's connect.php okay so after that get rid of some extra these, some of these extra spaces and we want to close our connection Okay, so after we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a query, our standard query, so MySQL underscore query. So our query is going to say select asterisk from, so select all from, and this is going to be our forum underscore forums, um, and we'll do order by, and this will be our um, display underscore order and we will see we will say desc so descending order so actually might help if i spell query right then we're going to have our classic num rows variable so mysql underscore num underscore rows and in case you don't already know uh the mysql num rows will return the total number of rows so it's kind of self-explanatory that a query will have and essentially what that's going to let us do is making it sure, making it, making sure um, the database, uh, the database table of forum underscore forums actually has data in it. So if not, we're going to say no forums found. So obviously we already have those in there, so we don't have to add any styling. So that'll just be like when you first create your your forum or your all the, all the code and everything. Um, so inside of here, we're going to say if num rows is greater than zero. So essentially, if there are more than one, or if there's one or more forums out in the database. And if so, we're just going to echo out, we'll just say good. So if we upload our forum.php file, so after we upload this, if we go to uh, basicnick.com slash forum, and we simply just have good being displayed, and we have our bottom. So what we're going to do is we don't want this this text to be pushed all the way up against this side because we have these rounded corners. So we need to add a little bit of CSS styling. And actually, we may already have um, this created. Okay, yeah, we actually do. So instead of saying of Div ID forum. I'm gonna do so I'm gonna hit control D and change this to full. So control D and notepad plus plus is duplicate line or duplicate selected text. So essentially what that's doing is making it so all of our content is gonna be centered. Okay, so after we do that, if we simply refresh the page after uploading, 
So it just kind of moves it over a little bit, and that means it's being that entire div is being centered. Um, so we're all good there. So inside of this if statement, we want to have a while loop. And our while loop is going to make it so we can get all the information we need from the database about each forum. So we're going to have MySQL underscore fetch underscore a sock, a -S -S -O -C, and we have our query inside of there. So we're storing all of our information in an array of named row. So we need to get all of these, so we'll say forum underscore ID equals, and this will be dollar sign row, and then brackets, and not curly brackets though, so keep that in mind. Um, and inside of here we just have ID. So if we um, just make it so we can get all of our info from the database, so forum underscore name, this is name, and we'll also get forum underscore show. Instead of saying always show, we'll just say show. Um, and this will be um, always underscore show. And we don't need to get the order. So right now, if we simply echo this stuff out, so forum underscore ID, tag forum underscore name, tag forum underscore show and then after that if we put on a line break since it's a while loop it'll continuously loop through for each um, each information set we have in the database so after uploading that if we refresh it's taking a little bit while to load it's probably because my servers are going slow though Okay, so there we go. So we have web development and in general, and we actually have those in the wrong order. So we need to change DESC to ASC for ascending order or ascending order. Upload and refresh. So there we go. So we now have our general forum and the web development forum um, right there. So. What we're going to do is, I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we're kind of going to get our main styling for each of our forums. And um, I'm also going to make that really easy so you can change it to whatever you want it to be. Uh, so, yeah.